Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Manas and I'm back with another tutorial on projection of solids. So guys, this time around the object that we picked up is a square pyramid. So let's get started. Here it goes. A square pyramid base 25 mm side and axis 50 mm long has one of its triangular faces in the HP while the top view of the axis makes 45 degree angle with VP. Freud's projections win apex is nearer the VP than the base and the second condition is apex farthest from the VP. All right. So let's get the details and as far as the object is concerned, it's a square pyramid dimensions base 25 mm and axis 50 mm. So this is going to be 25. All right. This base edge and this square base is going to have a center somewhere here and through this center until we reach this apex, this distance is going to be 50 millimeters. All right. Uh, now let's see what the condition says. triangular one of its triangular faces in the HP now you can clearly see that this square pyramid has as many as four triangular faces and there is one such triangular face that is going to be grounded or you can also say that the triangular face is in contact with the horizontal plane so this is a condition that must reflect perfectly in a drawing now there is one more condition which says while the top view of the axis makes 45 degree angle with VP now any angle that the top view makes with the vertical plane is represented by beta and as far as this particular case is concerned we have beta as 45 degrees all right angle made by the top view of the axis i should write this as top view of the axis please make a correction all right okay guys in the next section i'll show you how the object has been really kept with the help of a demonstration keep watching Hi everyone, this is the object that we're going to be considering in this particular question and this is exactly what you call a square pyramid. Now guys, the dimensions of the base edge as well as the axis has already been given to you and in this particular question, I'll discuss right now as to what the conditions are and for that, uh, I'll give you a perspective. You, you guys would be seeing this object from the top and let's see how this object has been really kept with respect to the horizontal as well as vertical plane. So let's do that quickly. Alright guys, so this over here is a square pyramid. Now guys, the condition says that one of its triangular faces is in absolute contact with the horizontal plane. Or you can also say that the triangular face, this triangular face is resting on the horizontal plane. It's going to be something like this. Now please make sure that you guys are watching this from the top. Alright. Now and the third condition, let's just say that over here we are having this, uh, what you call the vertical plane and this white paper over here is what you call the horizontal plane. Now it has been kept in such a manner that the top view of the axis now you guys are looking at this from the top okay so the axis top view is going to be starting from this point until we reach here this center point okay something like this so this is going to be the top view of the axis and it is has been inclined at an angle of beta so it's going to be something like this okay with the apex nearer the vp than the base you can clearly see that this apex over here is nearer the vertical plane this is the vertical plane over here it is nearer the vp compared to the base all right so this is exactly how the object has been kept and this is going to be our step number three and this is going to be our step number two and this will be step number one okay so in step number one we will assume that the object is resting with its base on the horizontal plane and in step number two i'm going to push it something like this and let it fall with respect to this triangular face on its triangular face rather this is going to be step number two and this is going to be our step number three something like this making sure that the axis is inclined the top view of the axis is inclined to the vertical plane and at the same time the apex is nearer the vp than the base so this was all about the orientation and positioning of the object with respect to reference planes and now let's head over to the drawing sheet and i'll head over to autocad in order to explain you how all these things can be implemented thank you all right guys now that you have seen the demonstration we can now begin by making its orthographic projection so we're going to begin with case number one which says that the apex is nearer the vp than the base i've already shown you in the demonstration that in step number one we are assuming that the square pyramid is resting with its base on the horizontal plane then one thing is for sure that the true shape of the base will be seen from the top and as far as the square pyramid is concerned it has a square base and it can be clearly seen from the top it's true shape obviously so we're going to begin by making a square in the top view that is going to be below this x y line let us give it some names a b c and d all right now since it's a square pyramid we're going to see an apex also how to locate the apex let's have this all right so this is what you call the slant edges top view okay and this point over here is o o d o c o b and o a are what you call slant edges fine let's move forward now we're going to look at this object from the front something like this and these are the projectors all right this point corresponds to a dash b dash this is for c dash 
d dash something like this fine let's move ahead and we have this axis length as 50 millimeters okay now guys um, this is 25 all of them are 25 millimeters long axis length has been given to us as 50 millimeters so we're gonna draw an axis over here something like this a dash dot line and then we're gonna join this a dash b dash with this o dash over here all right something like this so this completes our step number one where we assume that the object is resting with its base on the horizontal plane in step number two we've got to ensure that one of its triangular faces let's say we have a triangular face in the form of ocd which in the front view appears as a line that is o dash c dash d dash now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this line o dash c dash d dash okay is grounded that means we're gonna make sure that this line entirely falls or overlaps this x y line okay in such a case what we'll say is that the triangular face lies entirely on horizontal plane okay fine so let us randomly select a point over here that is c dash comma d dash something like this all right and from c dash we're gonna take an arc of radius uh, starting from this point to this point. I can also say this as you can keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. Then with this as center, you need to put an arc over here and that will give you point O dash, something like this. Please watch this and this is going to be point O dash. Now the next step is to locate point A dash or B dash. Both of them are going to lie something somewhere here. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. When then with this guy as the center, you need to put an arc over here. Somewhere along this arc, you will have this point a dash b dash again the same thing keep one leg of your compass here other leg over at a dash b dash then with this guy as center you need to put an arc something like this and this is what you call point a dash and b dash now let us uh, this portion was darkened all right in the step number one so we're gonna do that again in step number two also all right so let's have the axis this was the midpoint this is gonna be the midpoint and that's the axis now let's take a look at this object right from the top okay so these are the projector lines fine now we're going to bring these projector lines from the top view of step number one towards the right hand side something like this all right you can see that this point is going to be o this point over here is going to be uh, this is going to be c's vertical and this is c's horizontal this is c okay this is again a and b is vertical and this is a is horizontal so this is going to be a and this is going to be b similarly you can work out the remaining points also fine now let's see which portion can be seen and which portion cannot be seen now guys when you look at this from the top this portion is only visible this portion please see where the mouse is hovering all right from o dash to a dash b dash from that means in top view this triangle will be visible from o a b all right something like this and this line you see it's not actually a line rather it's a square right and this square pyramid in fact has been kept in such a way that this square appears as a very squeezed up rectangle and finally it should look something like this all right so step two is done and dusted guys and this is where the axis would be something like this all right now in this step three we need to make sure that the top view of the axis now over here from this point to this point this is the top view of the axis and we need to make sure that its top view makes 45 degree angle with x y line so what i'll do is and you should also do that same thing um you can enclose this you can you can uh, you can assume this as some some kind of a rectangle over here all right and you can see that this top view of the axis has to make 45 degree angle over here uh, so i can also say that if the axis is making 45 degree angle then this side also will make 45 degree angle okay now you can see this mouse hovering over this rectangle i'm going to make this rectangle making sure that this edge over here makes 45 degree angle with this xy line and it's going to be something like this all right so this is the rectangle that I have recreated over here making sure that this edge over here makes 45 degree angle with x y line now if this edge is making a certain angle and since this axis is parallel to this edge okay so here when we draw the axis also over here it is going also going to lie at an angle of 45 degrees that is pretty much obvious now we have this uh, point oh you can keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here then with this center you need to book an arc and this is going to be point O. all right similarly this is D, this is C and this is going to be D and this is going to be C. Fine. All right. Now let's locate point A and B. Now you can keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here and this with this radius, uh, this is going to work for this also. You can keep it over here, put an arc, you can keep it over here, put an arc and that's going to be point A and point B. Something like this. Please watch. This is going to be point A and B. Let's darken. 
all right now guys you can see this point over here this is the base point all right this is the center point at the base now this point also can be located you can keep one leg over here other leg over here this has to be very delicate and very minutely done so this is the arc all right so this is the center point and that's the axis now let's darken each and everything the same darken uh, the same darkening that we had done in step number 2 stop view has to be repeated in step number 3 stop view same thing same stuff okay the next step is to look at this object from the front we're going to look at this object from the front and we'll draw the so called projector lines from a b c d and o something like this and also from the center starting of this axis until the end of the axis all right let's bring projector lines from the left to your, to the right of your screen something like this all right and the next step is to figure out which points uh, are located and this is going to be the vertical for d and this is the horizontal for d so this is going to be point d similarly you can have point a also this is the vertical for point a horizontal for point a so point a is going to be somewhere here this is the vertical for o this is the horizontal for o and point a o is going to be here all right so all these points can be worked out and uh, what we going to see ultimately is this this is what you going to see from the front okay when the top view of the axis is inclined at 45 degrees and it is and the apex in fact is nearer the vp than the base and this is exactly what you going to observe right from the front all right so this was all about case number 1 guys and let's work out case number 2 where we're going to see when the apex is uh, farthest from the vp than the base all right so let's have a look at it i'll i'm going to do that tutorial on autocad uh, please watch now guys you can see the first two steps are going to be absolutely same no difference whatsoever the only difference is going to be in step number 3 where this apex is farthest from the vp all right same stuff same construction but in sort of a different way okay so this construction has to be done then projector lines in the vertical direction upwards and then projector lines from step 2's front view towards the right hand side and uh, these points are going to intersect finally this is a and b and this over here we will have point a and over here we will have point b similarly this line is for c and d and c is going to light here c dash in fact and this is going to be for d dash and finally let me show you how it looks exactly now let's join all the points which can be seen and which cannot be seen in fact let's first figure out what what all things can be seen okay now when you look at this from the front this obc triangle this obc triangle can be seen okay something like this I'll, let me show you this is o in fact um this is c and this i per this perhaps is b all right fine okay let's have this point this is o dash okay so this this can be seen clearly okay obc fine is there is anything else that can be seen yes from b dash to a dash it can be seen clearly seen and from b dash to o dash it's going to be looking something like this please watch carefully that's it okay now let's figure out which portion cannot be seen so so there is an edge back over here that is ad and its front we cannot be seen so we're going to make that through hidden lines um let me show you how that can be done from point a to point d um let me make a hidden line for that hidden two this will do the job yes perhaps okay okay guys so that's exactly what i was talking about so these were the two cases one for apex near the vp and the second one was apex farthest from vp now if you guys believe that this video has added value to your knowledge then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of us can benefit and guys if you have any doubts or queries to write them down in the comment section below i'll try to answer them as quickly as possible and in the best possible way in fact so guys this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing